Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Macy and I'm a software engineer and designer. I make content on my channels on my cozy lifestyle, my tech setup, and my design and code journeys. So today's video, I'm going to actually be bringing you guys along as I code my very own Discord bot. So I actually just started my own Discord server and so far we have over 2,000 members of our cozy community. So feel free to join. There's been so many different conversations and we've had daily challenges challenges that have been just really fun and it's just really refreshing to be in a wholesome community connecting with people from all over the world so you're invited to join my discord server and the best part is we're actually coding our own discord bot just to make things more fun so I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how we created our own discord bot and how we create a little discord shop where people can shop discord icons and even enter giveaways that I actually host on discord and people will also be able to play adventure games that we're actually going to be coding on the discord bot so yeah if you're interested in the journey and just knowing the process a little bit i hope you enjoy this video to kick off the cozy productivity vibes of the morning i'm trying out new products that logitech just released which are designed specifically for max thank you logitech for sponsoring this portion of the video they sent over their mx master 3s for mac The mouse has a really nice curve and a slight angle to fit the palm of your hand better, so it's really comfortable when you go to hold it. I got it in this really nice white color. They also sent me the MX Mechanical Mini for Mac. It's wireless and uses these low-profile, quiet tactile switches. The key layout is optimized for Mac, so it has the command, option, and control keys. The mouse has these two scroll wheels for horizontal and vertical scrolling. The vertical wheel is their mag speed wheel, and it's really premium feeling. It's powered by magnets, so it can switch between stepped scrolling and infinite scrolling, which is really nice. Both the mouse and keyboard have multi-device support, so it's really easy for me to switch between my Mac and PC workflows. And something really cool about them is that they're made with recycled plastic and they're certified carbon neutral.
So I spent some time just jotting down some ideas that I have for Elmer Bot. I always like writing on the iPad just to brain dump. So if I'm starting a new project, I'm always going to be starting things off by mood boarding or just jotting down as many things that I have in my brain. After I finished jotting everything down on the iPad, I then go on to Figma and I start using the tool Fig Jam. If you haven't heard about Fig Jam, it's great for whiteboarding and just creating flowcharts. So I created a flowchart with all the different Discord commands that we have to implement. This tool is really cool and convenient if you just want a simple tool to just brain dump and plan out your projects. So I'm actually using Notion to project management, all the different things that we have to implement. We're already on Notion already just to write notes and everything, so it's just really convenient. I created different tickets for all the commands that we have to program, and now we're gonna start coding. So setting up a Discord bot was actually really straightforward. We use Discord JS, so our entire bot is written in JavaScript, which is great since that's my main language as a front-end developer. We chose to implement all of our commands as slash commands because it makes organizing subcommands and passing parameters really straightforward. It's a better user experience too because slash commands pop up when you go to invoke them and they even have a small description tied to them. It's a lot better than having to memorize a whole bunch of commands. I actually have two Discord bots, one for me to develop with and the other to keep live in the server. I have a private server where I test new features before deploying them and a live instance, which is the Cozy League community server. We have some resources on a cloud computing service where we keep our bot running in a Docker container with some monitoring to make sure we know if it ever crashes. For all the persistent data, we just use Mongo. Mongo is nice because I can make changes on the fly without having to worry about altering entire tables just to add a new property. When making something from the ground up, that flexibility is really helpful. All right, so we just finished coding some basic commands for the Discord bot. And so far we've coded the shop command. So you're able to view what items are in the store. You're able to buy different items and equip them. And you're also able to earn coins through the feed command. So what's really interesting about this Discord bot is that all the characters are actually based off of our upcoming video game, Wistful Orchids. So it's really wholesome to see people interacting with our Discord bot so far and getting to know Elmer and his cows because it's all going to tie in together when everyone gets to play our video game. There's a lot of inside jokes already happening in the Discord, which is really funny. So now that we've finished coding these simple server commands, we're going to be creating different events. So one of the events is helping a mysterious duck escape from a tyrannical space organization. And we implemented this system for people to essentially race and whoever gets a certain amount of questions correct will earn all of the coins and I'm really excited to implement this server event and see everyone's reactions. Alright, so it looks like one of our server events is about to go live. So it looks like one of the server events just kicked off. The strange duck that has been robbing everyone is attempting to contact you. He finally collected enough money to fund his escape, send help the duck to accept his message. And it looks like a bunch of people are already entering the challenge, which is really funny. So I just want to show you what it looks like when you enter the challenge. Alright, so I'm going to type the message. I'm going to see if I can win my own game. All right, I wanna see if I can beat these people. Frick. Everyone wants, oh my God. You know why? It's so dumb that it's like funny, you know? Yeah. It's so stupid and easy that you just want to win. Oh my God. Already lost. Oh, <gasps> I won. What? <laughs> 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 
let's check how many coins I have. 41,275! Oh my god, Easy just wants to show that she's, a, she's the king. That's right! Guys, I won that really quickly. Maybe the game's too easy. No, it's not easy. You got lucky. Do it again. Do it again? Yeah, you got lucky. 